And joining me live is Shadow Trade and Tourism Minister Kevin Hogan. Thanks so much for your time, Kevin. So the Treasurer, uh, ahead of Tuesday's budget, says uh, that there's a $112 billion cost to, to service the federal debt interest payments. Uh, $700 every second if you stretch it out over five years. We'll just play a little bit of what he had to say this morning on an early morning run. Uh, you wouldn't even be asking me about whether the budget is in balance or not. If we had spent at the rate of our predecessors who gave us a trillion dollars in debt and not enough to show for it, what we're seeing now is the immense interest bill on the Liberal Party's failures. Uh, and our job is to clean up the mess that we inherited. Your reaction there to the Treasurer's comments? Well, look, what I think we're going to see next week, Kenny, and I don't think the Treasurer will say this, we have three industries and three workers and investors to thank. He's going to have a budget surplus next week. We, we know that. Well, they're trying to spend a lot of money to make that smaller now. But they need to thank and acknowledge every coal worker and investor in this country, every gas worker and every gas investor in this country, and every iron ore worker and investor in this country, because those three export sectors are generating about $100 billion each every year year, given the prices of where those three commodities are. So he doesn't like coal. The Labor Party, the Greens don't like coal and they don't like gas, but they are literally funding our country's bills at the moment. So I would like him to mention those three industri industries in his first or second line next week in his budget yeah, well, address. Uh, under the, look, under the previous, said, if I can just butt in there, under the previous coalition government, net national debt doubled, rising roughly 95% over almost five years. So that's what he's referring to, the debt increasing quite substantially under the previous government. Yeah, and look, what he, what he fails to mention, Kenny, is obviously that COVID the job saver, the job, the, the payment that we had to job keeper payment was obviously a big part of that in COVID did do that. But through that period, Kenny, what he doesn't mention is he actually wanted us to spend more money. They didn't want us to get rid of job keeper. They said we should be spending more money to get, you know, pe people to get paid, to get vaccinated. Job keepers should have gone on for a lot longer. So through that whole period, Labor in opposition was saying we should be spending more money for longer on those programs. So I'll just put out there, and it's not a trillion dollars in debt as well. That's an actually outright lie by the Treasurer as well. So look, we are riding high right now on three commodities, gas, coal and oil. Labor and your Greens don't even like those industries. He needs to thank those industries because at the moment we're going to have a budget surplus or close to because of the prices of those three commodities. So if the prices of those commodities do go down, we have a major structural problem with the budget. But Labor, as we know, they like to tax, they like to spend. So there'll be no structural reforms in this budget, just increased spending that is built into the budget. Well, just on that, Emergency Management Minister Murray Watt was just on the program and they're doing this 90-day review into 800 infrastructure projects, uh, which is going to look at saving money by axing a lot of them. But uh, he sort of guaranteed that they, any infrastructure project related to uh, flood recovery is not in harm's way. What's your response to that? Well, there's a lot of infrastructure projects that are in flood related and disaster related areas of which mine, one, mine is, um, and they're really important infrastructure projects. I'll give you one. One's a rail trail that we're building in the Byron Bay hinterland in through Lismore from Casino to Lismore. That pro sections of that project haven't started. The sections of that project as where as a previous government did put money towards, but they haven't started. Now, they're really worried that the money for that is going to be pulled, so we'll wait and see. We saw last October, November in the Labor's previous budget, they ripped nine or $10 billion out of infrastructure spending. A lot of it in regional Australia, where I live. They don't like regional Australia. Um, and the $120 billion that we had inbuilt into um, our 10-year plan, I think a lot of that spending, a lot of that infrastructure spending will be pulled from regional Australia. Kevin Hogan, thanks for your time this morning. Have a great day.